Ever had that idea in your mind where you're just like, you know what, this meatbag body is just not gonna do. I need to upgrade myself towards a perfect, immortal, in unfeeling machine. Well, you've come to the right place because today we're gonna be talking about the Synthetic Ascension, which is one of the three Ascensions available within Stellaris. Now, of course, uh, there is a bunch of things that you can do here. You can start off with any Empire you like and go ahead and move yourself towards the right path. However, if you want to get a bit of a shortcut, you can pick off Start off even with a mechanist as one of your starting perks within your species. You need a little bit of materialist within your ethics, but you will start with robot tech. And on top of that, you will get four robot par uh, pops within your empire. And they will be replacing those disgusting fleshy meatbag pops um, that, you know, the other four. And uh, you will also get a bonus to reduce robot maintenance, which is 5%. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but once you get rolling... And you start using more robot pops within your empire, it does start to impact things quite significantly. So have a look at the um, uh, the mechanists uh, overview. Um, well, as you can see, they started off with that robot tech, which also means that you don't need to gamble for it randomly popping up on a later uh, on a later moment when you're picking your technology. So it's an easier gateway to the follow up robots. Now, for the traditions that I've picked in this particular scenario are expansion and discovery. You're going to need a lot of engineering research for this ascension perk. Now, I'm not talking about just a lot. I mean a gargantuan amount if you don't build your empire properly. Uh, of course, that is discovery and expansion. Well, you need more territory to get more engineering hotspots and... That's kind of important, and of course you get the two additional core worlds there, which means that you can min-max your planets a little bit more effectively, So, which is kind of important. Anyway, as soon as you have an Ascension perk available and you have the droids technology, you can go for the Flesh is Weak, which is the first stage in changing your disgusting chemical sack into a perfect immortal machine. The Flesh is Weak is a fairly expensive event, and it costs a number of engineering research based on your population. Now, the math kind of works like this. There's a base cost of 1,000, and on top of that, you will pay an additional 100 for every piece of population that you have. Now, as of 1.5.1, uh, 1 .1, as I'm recording this, this is total population counter also include robot pops. I'm pretty sure this is a bug and is going to be fixed. I'll reach out towards the developers to see whether or not this is the case because it doesn't really make sense to cybernetically upgrade your robot population considering they are already cybernetic. Anyway, uh, this basically means that you want to keep your population relatively small, but a fairly large amount of robots, at least if my hunch is correct in this particular case. So you can offset the cost of this particular project. Again, this is where the uh, mechanist starter option shines bright and is pretty damn awesome, especially with that 5% uh, robot maintenance modifier. On an important note, you, what you, you will not be able to do any engineering research while this project is running. So once again, keep your population low as unlike with, for instance, gene tailoring, you will not be able to gradually your, upgrade your population. It's nothing or everything. There is no middle ground there. Once you've done this, you will trigger the Cybernetic Revolution event, where all your pops are automatically upgraded. Your ruler lifespan will automatically boost it by 40 years. Your pops will get the Cybernetic trait, which increases their habitability bonus by 20%, mineral output by 5 although you don't really want to use them for mineral output because that's where the droids come in. Because they're better at mining anyway. You've got a ton of them by this point anyway. And armies made from these pops will generate... 10% more damage. Cyborg governors generate 5% more minerals and energy on a, on a planetary or sector level, and their lifespan will be increased by 40 years. Scientists will get a 5% tech bonus and will also last 40 years longer. Admirals will get an absolutely insane 15% bonus to fire rate and an additional 40 years amongst the stars. And generals will generate an additional 10% army damage, although for since 1.5, armies are a bit bad in my personal opinion, but, you know, you can put the comments about that, uh, you know, about that one. Uh, please be aware that at this point, there will, if there's any Keepers of Knowledge fallen empires around, that they will not like you, and there's a good chance that they will try to stop you 
going down the AI path. Overall, it's pretty good times. But whilst we may have go gone full Adam Jensen, and unlike him, we totally asked for this, it's time to elevate our disgusting carbon bodies to the perfection of the digital. It's time for synthetic evolution. And it's only available as our fourth ascension perk. And only if you research the relevant synthetic worker and leader techs. So basically, you need synths and synthetic ru ru uh, rulership. So, this opens up the Synthetic Evolution event. Uh, obviously, this is uh, the Ascension perk we just talked about. And in your situation log, and once you, uh, once again, you will need to upgrade your population to that of perfect, unfeeling metal machines. This time, it is the following base cost of 1,000 plus 200 times your total population. So, it's basically double the cost of the flesh is weak. Again, you won't be able to research anything in the engineering section during this uh, event runtime. Finally, once a project is complete, we will, uh, yeah, we will in enter the synthetic age, and every single species within the galaxy will receive a message from us, proclaiming that we have become, in fact, perfect. You will not be able to see that message yourself. You can uh, run it through an event. I can put that in the comments if you really want to see it, but it's not particularly interesting. Uh, you will only really see it as a AI species enters the event or uh, you're in multiplayer. Uh, which is relatively unlikely, considering the amount of resources that you need to put into it. Uh, let's take a look here. And on that top of that, you get to rename your species. Something along the line of perfect, unfeeling, immortal machine will do here. Your populations will be changed. Your entire pop will change to synth. You will have a 20% bonus to energy, minerals, and science, and a 25 production uh, for 25% reduction in consumer goods cost. All your farms should change into energy buildings. I have looked a little bit at this. I've played around for a little bit. Doesn't always happen, but generally, all your farms turn into energy buildings of the same tier. Governors boost all science output by 5% per planet or sector. Your scientists get a 10% research bonus and a 25% survey bonus. Although by this, this stage, you sh probably have already surveyed the entire galaxy. Though this is slightly useless, possibly. Admirals will get a 5% fire rate bonus, which is a downgrade from the cybernetic bonus. I'm sure this is a mistake at some point. And generals will get a 10% to army damage as well as morale because, of course, they are perfect, unfeeling machines. Uh, once all of this is done, there's a good chance that a spiritualist empire or fallen empire will contact you and tell you that you are a bunch of idiots and that you have basically given away your perfect uh, carbon souls. But obviously... We haven't because now we're perfect machines. And I haven't actually seen any malices in relationships uh, towards that so far. I'm sure that's going to change sometime in the future. Uh, I've also done some testing with the AI Uprising Crisis event, but I could not find anything that allows you to work together nicely to purge all the meat bags. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I hope that this was entertaining for you. And if you feel that I did something wrong, feel free to put that in the comments as well. This is a discussion forum, not a place of vitriol, although some people would disagree with me on that one. Until next time, I hope this was useful to you, and take good care of yourselves, and of course, each other.